right, here we are once again. Um, I think I'll start off today with uh, saying I'm a little sorry about the delay. It's uh, been quite a while since uh, I actually released my, another LP, and I know it's been a long time off. The uh, the holidays and the and the and the Skyrim <laughs> have been. Uh, getting in the way of my uh, desire to record the audio for this, which is funny considering I um, actually f like recorded the footage here. I think uh, I don't know, like a week before Christmas. Like it was like two days after the last video I recorded the footage for this one. So it's been a while since I've taken this long. Now just finally get around to giving it some narration. So, we'll see how that goes. So, I uh, picked up, uh, went ahead and smelted my iron. You can see I made some shears here and get me some cows or sheep or, yeah, sheep. That's what they are. Make me a bed so I can, that, it's got to be like something close by there. <laughs> so. I'm going to uh, try to cut today's video a couple minutes shorter than the last one. It's just to hurry things along. Let's see, I need to... I went and... I need to go ahead and make this taller. Oh, Because right now it's still very... Uh, what's the word? Uh, intrusion friendly. Like they can just walk off the other ledges here. I'm going to make a few alterations. Got to keep my farm safe. My bread grows unhindered. Because if you didn't know, if you walk on your bread it, or your grains as your bread's wheat's growing, it'll uh, flatten it and you'll lose your seeds. And it's just wasteful. Uh, there was an update for Minecraft recently. Um, I actually filmed this. Dang it. See, I just lost one of my uh, saplings, seedlings. Um, there was an update recently. Oh no, I didn't lose it. Nice. Um, it's right. I had. I guess just not blocks, but items or walking does it only. Uh, now sheep regrow their wool. They actually didn't prior to this. Up, oh, see, look at that, right in there, and now it's raining. Oh my God, it's loud too. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut down the game's volume quite a bit to make sure it doesn't get overwhelming while I'm playing here. Maybe I'll pump up the decibels on the uh, the background music while, I, while the rain's going. <laughs> or at least my own voiceover. Make it a little louder. Uh, one of my buddies said it was a little quiet in my last video. And How? I cannot remember how you make the gates. This just shows how long it's been since I've actually played. I don't pay attention anymore. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is... I'm going to have to look it up, I think. What is the... This is... Um... Hmm... I want a gate for the fence. Such a thrilling LP. All he does is moan and groan the whole time. Right, right, right. There we go. Uh, doo, 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 make some gates. There we are. Awesome. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot more Skyrim. I had a, uh, a very disappointing Christmas, mostly. Uh... I stayed at home. It's the very first time I've ever not gone to my mother's for think for uh, Christmas, and I mean I've always, always gone to spend Christmas with my mother, no matter how, you know, been away. Ever since I left home when I was 17, every Christmas I went back because that's what you do for Christmas, right? I mean, you spend it with family, and uh, that's the, I'm gonna work. Uh, click, click, click. There we go. So, but I'm you know shit poor. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I was poor, so I didn't get gifts for anyone, and I hate that. I mean, I hate being so poor. I, I didn't even get a gift for myself. Well, I guess you could call Skyrim a gift, or Skyrim. I said it all the time. Skyrim. 
Sky, I guess you could call Skyrim a gift if you consider the fact that I got it, you know, at the beginning of November. <laughs> but it's about the only thing I've bought for myself in ages now. Uh, I did go out Christmas Eve and get some Chinese food, so that's kind of gifty to myself. <laughs> Yay, Chinese food. MSG, MSG. I was uh, <laughs> watching a uh, Food Network show the other day called, like, Food Attacks or Food... I think it was Food Attacks. Anyways, um, it's about, like, rare, you know, food problems that occur and... These people were, you know, talking about horseradish being toxic, and apparently raw horseradish is potentially lethal in large quantities. Uh, that's it. And, um, but, um, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, MSG. Yeah, MSG is also quite lethal in large quantities. And, um, some guy, uh, went to an all you can eat. Chinese buffet and he basically went like two buffets around town like for weeks at a time like I'm sure he consumed a massive huge quantity but uh he had such a huge quantity of MSG of course this is like you know a big guy I mean I'm a big guy and this guy is like makes me tiny kind of guy and so he just ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and uh, apparently he had an MSG and I broke my shovel man I don't know come on he had an MSG overdose, and it killed him. So that's something. I also learned that apples have cyanide in them, which is curious. But whatever. I mean, obviously don't eat large quantities of apples at once either. Of course, it just goes back to my, uh, my own personal motto on, like, everything in life is, you know, everything in moderation. As long as you do everything in moderation, you will be fine forever. <laughs> Well, I, or I know it depends on the model. In, anyways, don't overdo anything. Only thing I overdo is lazy. And I'm sure that's going to kill me too. Because overdoing anything will kill you. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, do I not get the gate? Did it go in my inventory? No? It destroyed it. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright. Um, so yeah, moderation and everything. So I'm curious, the, since like I said, the sheep regrow wool after the update, after I got this uh, recorded. So when I took the wool off them, sheep, the wool was not regrowing on sheep. So I'm curious to see if it'll start regrowing in the next time I play. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, so uh, apparently, um... A uh, buddy of mine finally getting around to that old server idea. He was uh, running around. It's a gift to me. Uh, of course, everybody else will be coming along too because it'd be very lonely to play a server by myself. That would be. Oh, it is a main inventory right there. Cool. So I didn't lose it. Um, so that'll be nice. Uh, I've been looking forward to playing with other people. Actually, it's just a different thing. Like I haven't played a multiplayer game since I quit playing Final Fantasy XI, uh, and I kind of got out of that game simply because I just lost contact with too many people that I played with in real life. Like, I was down to just one guy that I knew, and while he is awesome, it just wasn't enough, and I couldn't keep playing the game anymore. I just didn't have the drive and the desire that I needed to really enjoy an online experience. Um, I just don't like playing with strangers. I, I never have. I probably never will. Uh, strangers kind of suck. I mean, no offense to random people, but <laughs> until I know you, I don't really like you and don't care about you and your opinion's not important. Well, everybody's opinion is important, but I mean, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's like just, when you're playing with strangers, it's just, that sounds really wrong. Um, <laughs> when you're online with str wait, that's not better either. <laughs> what, where, what was I going through this? Um... Anyways, <laughs> I'm looking forward to being able to play online with people I know and appreciate in real life. So that'll be fun. Uh, you know, even if it's only like an hour a day tops. You know, even if it's like an hour a week, that's cool. Because, you know, 
it's something to do. It's something to get involved with. And I'm looking forward to it. it, it I mean, I want that kind of stuff to have fun with. And two... I just noticed that uh, <laughs> it's not even... That's going to bug me to no end. I can't stand an odd asymmetrical look. I'll have to get around to fixing that later. Yeah, coming up on... Is it ten minutes now? Ten and a half? I am going to go to bed here in a second because I think it's nighttime. It's hard to tell when it's raining. I hate the rain. It's so annoying. Uh, this footage I've got recorded here is actually... Um, uh, I got another whole set here, so I'll be recording another one shortly after this video, and I'll be uploading it back to back. So there'll be two videos up. Obviously, if you're subscribed, and uh, you'll know that because they'll be both available in the window. <laughs> but uh, if you're not, and you're just like randomly happy to cross my videos, yes, there is. There's an LP4 that'll be out shortly. Um, give it, you know, five hours because my upload speed is horrible. <laughs> Like, terror bad, horrible. It's it's so awful. Oh, uh, I uploaded like 34 kilobytes a second. It's so slow, especially when your videos are like 700 megabytes because you're recording in 720p. So just processing takes me like an hour and a half. Well, I think I might cut it down, make these look 480. 720 is excessive. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a day. So I will see you next time or talk to you next time, so sayonara, farewell, adios, and stuff. Peace out.